Bloop, bloop, bloop. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful, windy, cold as hell Joshua Tree, California. I, I came out here to do a, a, a retreat and really just tap back into Mother Nature. And what's funny is, is on my way out here, I got a call. I got an emergency call. And this is today's transmission. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear and everything is your teacher especially those things that annoy you the most. You see, on my way here, I got a call that uh, I was one of the only people available to do something that needed to be done ASAP. And so I made the decision that I was gonna take one for the team and go and take care of this particular errand, which was cleaning out the basement of an old place that I used to live in where some of my stuff was, but not all of my stuff. And so there was like seven other people's stuff in this basement but I made the decision that I was gonna do it. So, I drive there, I'm a little annoyed, but not that annoyed. I get there and I have a couple conversations with the landlord and then I see what's there. And it's like spider webs, it's mud, it's crazy. It's like next level, like, and I realize I'm A, not gonna have enough time to finish the whole thing and B, like, this is a lot. Like, I didn't know I was signing up for that. And so, I started and Maybe 20 minutes in, I realized that, and I took my own medicine, and I took my own medicine that I teach you guys all the time, which is everything is your teacher. And so I realized that I was really upset, that I was moving and operating from resent and anger and overwhelm. And I was acting essentially like a pouty little kid and made the decision, and this is the game changer, y'all, made the decision and had the realization that if I'm gonna do this, I might as well do it with a smile on my heart. I might as well do it you know, from, from a place of gratitude that I actually can and be curious about what I may discover in the process, right? Because mastery, you know, they say is chopping wood and carrying water for the sake of chopping wood and carrying water, not to get something, right? So I made the decision that I was gonna do it with a smile on my heart and it shifted everything, y'all. I went from super overwhelmed and upset to like having a great time and I mean, all right, I'll say this, I didn't have a great time. It was fun and, or fun enough for me to can do 90% of it. And you know, I went down memory road, I found some picture books and stuff like that and it was great. And so I share this story and this transmission because all of us have someone or something that is annoying the crap out of us. We get triggered, that's what it means to be human. Humans get triggered, that's not what it means but that's what happens. Humans get triggered, we get upset, you know, it may be taking out the trash, it may be, uh, you know, driving the kids to school all the time, or it may be anything, something your roommate is doing, not washing the dishes, or you're washing the dishes and you think everybody else should. Whatever the trigger is, it doesn't matter. The thing that I'm reminding you is that you can always, you're a decision away from shifting from pain and resent and suffering to, to, to joy and happiness and shifting into a space of appreciation. Because here's the thing, guys, there's so many things that can come out of something that you may have previously been annoyed by. So let's take the taking out the trash example, right? Let's say taking out the trash pisses you off, but you feel like, or you have you know, raised your hand and said you would do it. You could switch that to, you know what? I get to take out the trash. I get to get out into the night air and, and, and talk to the raccoon Leroy that always is in the damn trash. I get to, you know, compose my thoughts and tap into mother nature and see the moon or the sun every other day. And that thing that used to annoy you may turn into the thing that, that you love doing. It's your time out, it's your break, it's your, your moment to, to tap in. So, whatever it is, y'all, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear Everything is a teacher. When you choose to move from anger and suffering and overwhelm and shoulds, they should be doing it, I shouldn't be doing this, and into a space where you put that smile on your heart, life is freaking better, period. I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings from the desert. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh. The moment you set any intention like that, there is going to be trouble at the border because that's how life works. Life